Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to Siyasat English News. I'm Emma Nomar. Hyderabad city has been literally painted pink thanks to thousands of posters and hoardings by the ruling Telangana Rashtra Samiti in view of its plenary session that is being held today at the High Tech Center. It is not clear whether the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation has given permission for such hoardings and flexies. Attempts were made to contact the concerned officials but no one answered the phone call. About 6000 leaders from all the districts are expected to attend the program. The name of the TRS president will be declared in the first session itself. It may be mentioned that the plenary is being conducted after a gap of 3 years. The movement of heavy vehicles will be regulated in Madhapur zone for smooth movement of traffic during the day time. The Cyberabad Traffic Police has urged the citizens to make a note of the traffic advisory and use alternate routes to avoid inconvenience. In order to reduce the burden of the rising diesel prices, the Telangana State Road Transport Corporation is planning to replace the fuel run buses with electric buses. In this regard, the managing director of the TSRTC, VC Sajjanar has said that a bus from the Mushirabad depot is set to be converted into an electric vehicle. Further, he said that if the experiment proved successful, then more such buses will be changed to electric mode. He added that if the TSRTC buys a new electric bus, it will cost an estimated 1.5 crore rupees to the corporation, whereas if the diesel bus is converted into an electric vehicle, then it will cost around 60 lakh rupees. It has to be noted that since Sajjanar has taken up the post of the MD of TSRTC, the corporation is implementing various new policies to bolster its profits. Telangana on Sunday recorded 135 new COVID-19 cases and one related fatality, taking the total positives in the state to 6,70,274 and the death toll to 3,947. The number of active cases in the state have stood at 3950. The Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation has reported the highest number of 64 cases followed by Rangareddy with 11 and Karimnagar with 9 cases. 12 out of the 33 districts have recorded zero cases. A total number of 168 recoveries have taken place on Sunday taking the total number of recoveries to 6,62,377. A Zika virus case has been reported in the Kanpur district of Uttar Pradesh and health officials have said on Sunday. The health official further said a warrant officer in the Indian Air Force was diagnosed with the infection on Saturday, the first in Kanpur. Chief Medical Officer Nepal Singh said that the IAF officer was suffering from fever for the past several days and was admitted to the Air Force hospital in the district. Following mysterious symptoms in the case the blood sample was collected and sent to Pune for proper examination which confirmed that the patient was Zika virus positive 20 more samples of the persons who came in contact with the patient and those who have the same symptoms have also been sent for examination Meanwhile the health and civic bodies officials have been put on alert to deal with the situation besides several teams have also been tasked to check the spread of the virus in the district several kashmiri students at an engineering college in punjab's sangroor alleged that they were assaulted late last night moments after india lost its opening 2020 world cup match against pakistan punjab police officials arrived at the college campus soon after and said that the situation at bhai gurdas institute of engineering and technology was brought under control Former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah has appealed to the Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Channi to look into the matter and reassure the Kashmiri students. Mr Abdullah tweeted, "It is distressing to hear about the incidents of physical and verbal assault against some Kashmiri students in a college in Punjab last night. No police case has been filed as yet. Both sides apologized to each other in front of police and college authorities this morning." Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said that the attempt of some regional states to normalize relations with Israel is a great sin and a mistake. The governments which recently established diplomatic relations with Israel must turn away from this anti-Islamic movement and make up 
for their great mistakes. He urged for the unity among Muslim states to restore Palestinian rights in the face of the Israeli occupation of their lands. He also expressed grievance over recent unfortunate and tearful explosions in Afghan mosques against Muslims and worshippers. Also on Sunday, Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council, Ali Shamkhani, played down Israel's recent threats and vowed his country's tough response. Before the start of the 2021-2020 World Cup match against Pakistan in Dubai on Sunday night, the Indian cricket team showed their support for the Black Lives Matter movement by taking the knee. Pakistan team members also paid tribute by placing their right hand over their chest. It is worth noting as both India and Pakistan have a very bad record of protecting their own minorities and were displaying solidarity with the African Americans in the United States. India has been widely criticized for its state-sponsored terrorism in Kashmir and Assam and Pakistan has received flock for its treatment of Ahmadiyas and Shias. Thank you viewers.